Welcome back to the Community Focus here on Channel 6 TV. Kenny Fogel here with you. Glad you could be with us, and it's Christmas time, but that doesn't mean a whole lot, you know, for downtown Barstown, except one thing. It's a little different in downtown Barstown at Christmas time than it is any other time of the year. And we've got a young lady here with us today that's going to tell us a little bit about what's going on in downtown Barstown, and that's Mary Carey at At Mary's. And uh, first of all, Mary, oh, well, sure. <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> so you've been downtown for a little while now, so mm -hmm. I, I, I'm going to say you're the dean of downtown. So yeah, you probably, does. you've been, uh, you, you've seen a lot of people come, a lot of people go, but uh, yeah, downtown yeah. booming right now, isn't it? It's doing really well. We're very pleased with it. Um, you know, I've been, this is my 11th mm -hmm. Christmas and uh, yeah, it's gotten bigger every year. Uh -huh. So I, 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 it's yeah, we do our we do our shop up uh, big in right. Christmas. I think I put up, I can't me and my minions put up about <laughs> probably seven. You know, last year we counted seventeen trees. I don't think it's that bad this year, but they're bigger this year. So it's a it's a job. We so start, you got a forest in there. <laughs> mm -hmm, we start we start in October and the beginning of October, and um, it takes us until open house, which is usually the first or second week of November. To get them all done. Well, like so. I said, you know, the, it's it's a, it's down there every day of the year. Fifty-two weeks of the year at yes. Mary's is there. Yes. But Christmas is a special time. Like you said, you it do is. it you do it up differently, and people start paying attention. I think to downtown a little bit more at Christmas right. time than they do right. the rest of the year. Take it for granted. I think the rest of the year it's just down there if I yeah. need something. But at Christmas time, it's just a little more special. Yeah, it always amazes me when somebody hasn't been in our downtown in a while, uh -huh. and you know they come in. Well, I never knew this was even <laughs> here, and you know they're. They're not only, a, you know, they're pleasantly surprised and thrilled. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when people come to our downtown, they they come to shop. You know, it's a destination for sure yeah. because you're not going to bring your relatives and stuff to some of the, you know, strip malls and things like that. That's not where they're going to come. Mm -hmm. They want to get a taste of what holiday is all about and, and unique and fun and different gifts. Well, downtown definitely has. Well, sure. This is, this is Barnstown. I mean, yeah, you, yeah. Can, go, you can go to, a, a, like you said, a strip mall or one of those big box stores right. just about anywhere in the country. But if you right. want to experience Barnstown, Downtown, or one of the local local shops. It doesn't necessarily have to be downtown, right, but one right. of the local shops in the in the in the Bardstown Nelson County area. That's where you got to go. Right, I agree. So, I agree. And, you, and granted, you might be able to find some of the things that we mm -hmm. have in other places, mm -hmm. but you're not going to find it all in one place. Yeah, and decorated the way it's done. And you know, I think you know my way to find different and unusual. Yeah, you can find maybe one thing. So, oh, I saw this someplace else, but you're not going to find everything that I right. have. So, which which makes it. And I think all of our stores do that, which is really kind of mm -hmm. cool because I think we go out of our way to to find the the fun, unique, exactly. and everything like that. So, and that's what I like about downtown too. It's it's the service, it's the people, it's the it's the you, I mean, have a conversation. You go yeah. to some to some stores, you know, it's just ring you up, and get you out the door. Right. It's not that way downtown. Right, right. They do, they do. Yeah. You know, they come in. We we a lot of times we'll greet them at the front door, mm -hmm. and and you know we wrap our gifts. You know, it's it's not something we have to even ask you. We mm -hmm. just do it because. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, I didn't even know that you did that. You know, and so it's we we do. I think we make that a little extra step to to make your Christmas merry and bright. <laughs> Absolutely, and that's one of the things we, uh, it's one of the hardest things to do is, is uh, people, I've heard people like you mentioned, it's a well, it's a secret, sort of a well-kept secret. We don't want it as a well-kept secret. No. We want people, especially the local people, that like you said, haven't been downtown in a while to come on down and see what's down exactly. there. Exactly, and you know, you can do all your Christmas shopping downtown and mm -hmm. shop local. I mean, it, shopping local puts so much more money into our community mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, I can't, there's a whole list of benefits for shopping local, right. you know, other than keep, you know, it's right there beside you. You can run out and go get you a gift. Mm -hmm. You can, I was thinking, you know, about how they were talking about how online sales have boosted and stuff like that. I said, but you know, sometimes you need to touch it. Oh, and yeah. You need to feel yeah. it and you need to smell it and, you know, you know, activate your senses and, you know, because... Seeing it online doesn't do it justice no. when you've got it right there in front of you. Exactly. So, and there's places yeah. to eat when you come downtown. There's places you can take a break. It's not like in a mall somewhere. Where you, it's not really like, a, yeah. we don't have a food court, but right. we've got some really good restaurants and places to go and a variety of shops. That's yeah. the thing about it. you got one shop, it may be one thing, you walk next door and you may be in a whole different world. Right. So, very much so, very much so. So that's the thing we're trying to convince people to shop local. Is, is that, Yeah, you can get in a car and drive to Louisville or Cincinnati mm -hmm. or Lexington somewhere, but it's if you to get that Barstown experience, 
tourists seem to know something about us we don't know ourselves. Yeah, I think like yeah they do, don't they? I agree. Yeah, I they agree. come in and vote us the most beautiful city, and we just take it for granted. We yeah. just think, oh, well, that's yeah. what it's always been. Yeah, but you know, I'm getting more and more people who are doing all their shopping local. Mm -hmm. So that's just, that's really special. And they say, you know, it's not that hard mm -hmm. because they've found everything that they need on their list. And we got it downtown. Was there anything so, really special that you like? If you're shopping at Aunt Mary's, if you're going in Aunt Mary's, you haven't been there before, what are you going to see when you walk in that door? Oh, you know, besides an overload of Christmas, <laughs> uh, but we have we have some really unique art pieces, and some we uh, we also have some really cool stuff that are made by local artists. Mm -hmm. uh, some photography that's been done. Uh, Donna Ellis, who used to be one of our former uh, natives, uh -huh. um, we have her work, you know, of her downtown scenes and uh, you know we've sort of parlayed that into coasters and uh, uh, some other things and see what else we got. We've got this really cool candle that is made out of recycled bourbon bottles and I actually found this guy in West Virginia uh -huh. and the the he's cut them you know the glass and everything filled them with soy, soy candles and then he's made the lids from wood that's falling down on his farm and each one of them is unique for it. Yeah. So they're, they're, they smell fantastic. Try about that good. in a box store. <laughs> yeah, no, no, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And then they have a, then I have a Donna Cheeks and her bourbon lamps, which are just, I mean, Donna's been mm -hmm. doing crafts and stuff forever and ever, and she's very talented. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, she's been having problems with her crops lately. The, the rain has evidently been good, so it's making the corn bigger than she should. But uh -huh. <laughs> she, she takes the, the, she recycles bourbon bottles as well, and she puts uh, all the ingredients that go into making bourbon in the bourbon bottle, mm. and then it comes with a wick and a, uh, uh, it's filled with lamp oil, and so you light it like a candle. Ah. And so instead of a night cap, you have a night light. <laughs> <laughs> That's really so, great. Yeah, so those are really cool. So we've got some, really unique and unusual things. We've got some art from, uh, you know, if you're a big UK fan or U of L mm -hmm. fan, there's this artist I met that uh, he was originally from Arkansas and he moved up to Louisville because I was like, how come you do all this bourbon art, but you're living in Arkansas? And yeah. he would come up to the St. James Art Fair and everything like that. Since he's been showing in my shop, he's even been coming to our crafts fair. Uh -huh. So, and the bourbon festival. Well, good. But he's got some really cool stuff and he does a UK, uh, themed print and a uh, uh, UL. Mm. So, well, that's great. Yeah. Like I said, you know, if, if people are looking for things to do, we've got our jewelry store downtown, we've got your store downtown, we've got places to go on the other end as far as a, a, the, the artist, a right, local right. artist, have their own little store down you know, there. We have now. little soap stores, we have a little soap. alpaca store, and we have a uh, um, the olive oil place. The olive oil place. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you haven't yeah. tried that. That's just yeah. I got a bunch of that last yes. year. So, yes. But and that's the thing. That's the what, I, what we're pushing at is if you yeah, if you're going to go out and buy a tie or a pair of socks for somebody for Christmas, yeah, you might. That's the routine thing. But use imagination. I guess that's the point. Right, it's right. Use your imagination. And you know, we're so willing to help you because mm -hmm. when you come in the store, I mean, you go tell me who you're shopping for. Exactly. Because I'll 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 work. I'll, Walk you through the process, wrap it up, and then you're good to go, Kenny. You only have to do the wrapping. So. <laughs> well, that, that works for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don and my wife always knows when I do the wrapping. It's always exactly. sort of crinkly and I, I'll put it in a bag or something. Right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, it works for somebody else well, does the you wrapping. Know, if, even if you, it's not the gift, we do gift cards. Most, yeah. most of the stores downtown well, do great. gift cards, too. So. This is some, there's a worth going. Well, like I said, if anybody out there can remember what they got last Christmas and you can't remember, more than likely you got it, you got a really blah present. <laughs> but if you went downtown and went to Aunt Mary's or somewhere like that, you probably remember what you got last yeah, year yeah. because it's unique and it's, it's, it's something that means something because right. you, you, you picked it out and it's something that it, it, it has some meaning to it. Yes. Yes. So again, you know, I know uh, Christmas has uh, been a busy this year, this year so it's far? It's been really good, yes. Well, good. Uh, yeah, we've had a, you know, our Black Friday was really, really good, and our open house was good, and then this past weekend we had a another, I don't know, I just know it's been, I'm exhausted sometimes. <laughs> and then we open all the way up to uh, the crowd? We'll open up to New Year's Day, uh, our, we'll, New Year's, Christmas Eve Day will be open till, uh, from 10 till two that day. Mm -hmm. It's a short day. So but. if anybody complains, there's plenty of parking. I know that's one of the things I've always heard people say, I no place to park, but there is you and you'll walk just as far if you do with a big right. box store right. as you will here. It just seems like a little further because you have to walk around the corner. Right, right. It does. <laughs> it does. And you know, I've had people use my back door every once in a while if they park in the city parking lot. I don't yeah. mind them coming in my back door. Mm -hmm. 
So sometimes they have to maneuver through some of the boxes, but that's okay. Well, that's okay. And <laughs> so, again, try that at a big store yes, sometimes. Yes, exactly. So uh, plenty of parking and plenty of uh, interesting uh, stores in downtown Barstown. So come down. It's, it, it's, it's crowded, but it's not too crowded. It's, right. It's not, you're not, people are it's not knocking right. each other over, but it's just right. Right. So, you won't go crazy down there as far mm -hmm. as people. And then you can always take a break and go down to the, got a little uh, uh, beer yeah, the new beer craft place, they craft call beer it. Yeah, place. Craft beer place. Haven't been in there yet, so I yeah. can't say too much about this. And there's a lot, you know, that's not to be said for the uh, milkshakes at the corner. Oh, and I have had the milkshakes. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, there's yeah, the, you know, the soda, the soda place. I mean, that's that's good when Hearst has their place, and that's, that's a unique to a downtown. Yeah. A lot of downtowns are dying all over, the, all over the country. I've been to a lot of places, and you can pretty much judge an area by its downtown, but Barnstown's been booming for You've quite a while. You've been very, very, very... Fortunate. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. We've got all the got cogs in place that help support us downtown, and mm -hmm. you know that the Main Street sort of restoration that they mm -hmm. had a few years back. You right. know, it might have been a little tough going through it, but it, it could have been a whole lot worse. Right. And yeah, it's 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 been wonderful. But what makes it work is you. We got to have customers. Got to have customers to come on down. So you're being invited today to stop in down at Mary's or any of the downtown shops or any of the local shops in the area, whether it's New Haven, Bloomfield, or out, out on the outskirts of Bardstown. We, they're all a beautiful place to stop and unique. And that's the thing about it. And as you mentioned, it puts money back in the local economy. Mm -hmm. And when the local economy gets help, we all get help. We can build more exactly. downtowns yep. and, and keep going. I agree. Well, Mary, I do appreciate you being here today. And like I said, I know you. this is a busy time of year for you, and hopefully it just gives you a little breather to stop in here. That's right. That's all that. <laughs> you can head back yes. to work and okay. do what it is you do there. So at Mary's in downtown Bartstown, and again, all over, we encourage you to shop local this Christmas season. So again, Merry Christmas, Mary, you and too. Uh, you Merry too Christmas good. to you. Thank you. We'll be right back here on Channel 6 TV on Community Focus.